Okay, in this video we're going to talk about relationships, and specifically relationships between two database tables. So in the last video, we created a new customers table and added a few customers. Now let's say that we have an orders table, and these customers can place some orders. We may also want to have an orders table, and then we want to create a relationship between the customer and the orders, and the orders to the customers. So we can easily do that using relationships. So let's go ahead and open up our SQL Pro or wherever we want to add our new database table. So I'm going to create a new table and just call this orders. And inside of this orders, I'm going to give it a new field of customer ID. And this is what is referred to as a foreign key because this references a primary ID in another table. And the Next row that we will add is just a name. So it's a very simple table. We just have ID, customer ID, and the name of the order. So typically in an actual orders table, we probably have a lot more fields, but for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna keep it this short. Okay, so the next step we will want to do is we want to go into our app, and we can see that we have our customer model here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this into a new file and just call this order.php. We also could have done this with uh, our artisan command that we showed you about two videos back, but we're just gonna duplicate that file just to show you that you could simply create a new PHP file. You don't have to use the PHP artisan tool, but it is a very cool tool to get to know. So we will change this class name to order, and I will save that, and I'm going to add a couple orders in, into our database. So if you can see here in the customers table, we have two customers, one customer with the name of Tony with an ID of one, and another customer with the name of Bob with an ID of two. So let's go into our orders table, and let's say customer with an ID of one, and let's just say that the name of this order is t-shirt. And let's do another one, and let's say coffee mug. And let's say, okay, so customer ID one has a t-shirt, customer with an ID of two has a coffee mug. Let's also give another order to customer one. And let's just say MacBook Pro. Okay, now let's go back into our application and let's go to our HTTP and our routes.php. And let's go ahead and print out all the orders that we currently have in our database. Okay, so we'll create a new orders variable that contains all of the orders, and then we will loop through each of these orders. And we can just print out each of the order names, and we'll also give it a break. So let's save that, and let's go ahead and test out this route. So we'll go to localhost 8000 slash orders. And simple enough, we have all of the orders listed on our screen. So we have t-shirt, coffee mug, and MacBook Pro. Okay, now let's say that we wanted to figure out which customer was the customer that ordered this particular order. So we could easily do that by saying customer equals, and then we want to find the app customer with, that has an ID of, and this is going to be inside of the orders table. Remember we had this customer ID. So we know the customer ID inside of our orders table. So let's go ahead and do a lookup of the order customer ID. And we will just say order ordered by and we'll say customer name. So we are going to loop through each of these orders, we are going to list the name of the order, and then we're gonna say ordered by, and we're gonna list the customer's name who has ordered this, who has placed this order. So let's save that, let's reload the page, and now you can see that we have t-shirt ordered by Tony, coffee mug ordered by Bob, MacBook Pro ordered by Tony. So simple enough, we could print out all of the orders and then who it was ordered by. But we can actually do this a lot easier instead of having to 
create a new customer object and look them up by the customer ID, we could create a relationship. And this makes it so much easier and so much more fun to work with. So let's go into our order model. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is create a new method inside of here. We'll just call this public function customer. And inside of here, we want to return, we'll say this belongs to, because an order belongs to a customer. So we say app slash customer. So after we create that, we could go back into our routes and we could simply remove this whole line and we could say echo the order name ordered by and we could just simply say order customer name. So it looks up the order and it gets the customer object and prints out their name. So if we save this and reload our page, we should get the exact same results. And sure enough, we do. And you can see that this code is much nicer and much more readable than the previous code. It saves us a line of code, makes it readable, and definitely more fun to work with. So up here we have our customer ID, and then we simply just print out the customer name. So we have, if we did customer ID of one, we would print out Tony. So let's go to that route real quick. Okay, so let's say that we wanted to find all of the orders for this specific customer. Uh, we could easily do that doing the same way. Instead of belongs to, we are going to say that Tony has many orders. So we can create that relationship by adding this inside of the customer model. So we will again create a new method and we'll just call this orders. And we want to say return this has many and that will be app order. So if we save that, then we can go back to this routes file. I'll probably want to add a break here. And then we can just also echo out and say orders, and then we'll list out each of these orders. Okay, so we could create a new orders variable, and inside of that we could store the customer orders, and then we could loop through each of these orders. So we'll say for each orders as order. And then let's create an unordered list. Okay, and then in here we'll want to echo out a list item with order name. So let's save that and let's go ahead and run that route and see if everything went through okay. Okay, great. So we have the customer name, then we have orders, and then we list out each of the orders for this customer. So if we change the ID, say to ID of two, then we should get all of Bob's orders. And sure enough, we do. Uh, we could actually clean this up a little bit more. So instead of actually storing this inside of orders, customer orders, we could actually remove that line and just put this here and save that and reload and we'll get the exact same results. So uh, that's just the very basics of using relationships. There are many other relationships that you can use. I would definitely recommend checking out the full Laravel documentation. Uh, but this was just a crash course into creating relationships between two database tables. And we will see you in the next video where we will be talking about views.